Hello, this week's talk is about being stuck, feeling stuck. I know that at times we all feel as though we are surrounded by a thick, dark wall that doesn't seem to have any outlets. You know, times when you feel as if you are, be something is above you, something is over you, and you don't see the sky. Times when you feel as if you are in a dark tunnel that doesn't seem to be coming to an end. Times when you feel like, oh my God, you've been hoping for a breakthrough, but there is no breakthrough. There is only a break inside yourself. This week, I'm going to give you five tips, five tools that you can use to get your mindset out of being feeling stuck. Now, a few things to, a few things to consider before I give you the tips. Number one. Feeling stuck is a mindset, it's a decision, it is a thought, it is a, an escape. Probably when we don't have, when we're not clear, when we don't have clarity about which steps to take, or when we feel disappointed, or when things are not working out the way we want them to work out, or when there is a delay, we feel stuck. It's a feeling that means that it's a choice. You choose to feel stuck, consciously or unconsciously. And as such, it's an escape. Your brain is escaping the reality. And you know that the brain uses 20% of the entire body energetic system, okay? Uh, energetic system, right? Yeah. So the brain doesn't want to work harder than it's already working. So to escape from identifying tools and strategies and searching beyond the appearances to give you some tools and strategies, the brain is just going to feel stuck. And then you start feeling stuck. So that is the number one profound tool that you can, it's not even a tool, it's a information for you to know that feeling stuck is a choice. You choose to feel stuck. So tip number one, just to feel inspired, as simple as that. And you know, sometimes we tend to, um, excuse me, we tend to think that the solutions we need or the tools we need to make it out of our dilemmas are complicated. We complicate them. And we've been programmed to think that it's okay to feel stuck. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel worried. It's okay to just dwell on what's wrong. But I'm here to tell you that it's okay to feel inspired. It's actually okay. So once you, you grab that tip that it's okay to feel inspired, then you stop feeling stuck. And sometimes you have to refocus, get your focus away from that issue that you're feeling stuck about and focus on what you have and focus on the good things about you or look for ways to inspire yourself. And then you will choose something else other than feeling stuck. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, I guess tip number two, I already gave it to you. Gratitude. Practice the art of gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. I know this might feel, my seem as if, oh, they've already talked. We've already, we already know that we have to be grateful and all that. But let me tell you, when you're feeling stuck and you deliberately and profoundly start identifying the good things that you have in your life. Let, even, let it even be one thing. Maybe even it's a person, maybe even, maybe even if it's a plant, and you just deliberately, consciously, and profoundly focus on that one thing, and be grateful for the thing, and identify how it makes you feel, and connect to the feelings that it gives you, and go back to when you received the thing or, or connected to this person and you just dwell on this one magic that is dwelling in the stuckness and dilemma. Trust me, you snap out of being stuck. Okay? Tip number three. Okay, I'm just popping this out of my head. One of the tips I give my clients is deep breathing. Fill your brain with oxygen. Just Deep breathe, breathe in deeply, you know, you breathe in pure positive energy Oof, and you breathe out all the negativity. Sometimes when you feel stuck, it's because you realize, oh my God, you're not even breathing your shoulders up, uh, up against your ears, your chest is all, your chest is all cramped in. Breathe, breathe in deeply, take time, close your eyes and just, Just breathe with that unconditionally, without expecting anything. Just sit back there and enjoy the freedom of breath. Remember, it's okay to breathe deeply. So at times, it, 
as simple as just sitting down and breathing really, really deeply. And as such, by the time you're done breathing, you've infused, you've given your brain oxygen. You know, there is more oxygen in your brain. You're feeling more relaxed. And before you know it, you're focusing on something else. Tip number four, go for a walk. Okay, once you go for a walk, you know, according to Tony Robbins, emotion creates motion, motion creates emotion. You know, when once you change the motion, you change the emotion. So if you go for a walk or do yoga or do some sort of exercise, then your emotions are going to change. And for instance, if you go for a walk, your focus is going to, uh, you're going to focus on certain other things, maybe houses in your neighborhood, maybe cars or whatever. Just go for a walk and you will get your brain to focus on something else other than what you're feeling, what, you know, whatever you're feeling stuck about. And tip number five, sit down and don't focus on the weaknesses, focus on the strength that you have. Most of the time we are so focused on what's wrong with us and what we did wrong and um, the weaknesses that we have. It's okay to focus on the weakness, to identify the weaknesses and identify, okay, I need to grow in this area. I need to grow in that area. I need to grow in the other area. But then it's okay. To, it's not okay to dwell on them. Identify where you need to grow and then use your strength to grow those areas. As a matter of fact, they, sh they shouldn't even be called weaknesses. When you say, when you term your, the areas where you, you're not profoundly capable as weaknesses, you're downing yourself. You know, language is another problem we have, but I won't even go there. Just identify these areas as areas that you need to improve, okay? There are four. Focus on your strength and how you can turn the areas, how you can improve the areas that you need to improve. Yes, <laughs> the areas that you need to improve. So write down your strength. What are you good at? You know, what, what do you do that you can do even in your sleep? What are your strengths? It could be emotional strength or intellectual strength or whatever. What are your strengths? Okay, so those are five tips. Tip number one. Remember that it's a choice. To feel stuck is a choice. You can choose to feel inspired. Tip number two, be grateful. Just dwell on something. Let it be one thing. Just just dwell on one thing or one person or even if it's a plant, go back to when you received it and just dwell and focus on what you're grateful for. Number three, breathe. Yes, breathe. <laughs> just deep breathe. Number four, go for a walk. Motion creates emotion. So when you call you, when you change your emotions, your physicality, you are also telling your brain to change whatever is going on up there. Number five, uh, what is that? Identify your strength and don't call the areas that don't refer to the areas that you need to to improve as weaknesses. That is such a negative word. Just refer to them as areas you need to improve on. Then focus on your strength, write down your strength, and start using your strength to improve the areas you need to improve on. Okay? I know this will help you. Remember, nothing happens if nothing moves. If you're so sick and tired of being sick and tired, you're going to do anything and everything you can to improve your life. Remember, no one is going to come and save you. Mm -mm, no one. No one is going to do the inner work for you. You have to make it a point you have to get determined to live life on your terms at least inwardly you have to learn and do the work to feel peace at yourself okay now if you're looking for a transformational coach counselor i will leave my details here below remember if you do the work you see the results other than that please subscribe to my channel give me a like give me comments and in the interim i'm sending you good love and light Bye bye